Hey guys, this is Farah. Welcome to my channel. We talk about building business on Amazon on this channel. If you're interested in that, then please do subscribe. So I was going to post another tutorial, but I came across this video and you guys have to watch this with me. Make sure you stick around and don't click out. <laughs> this is one of the best videos I've seen so far. This is a masterclass in how you defend your brand on Amazon. This is the future of selling on Amazon. Please take notes. Make sure you save this video and you like and you make sure you go and like their video too. Let's check it out. This is the Everyday Sling by Peak Design. And this is the Everyday Sling <laughs> by Amazon Basics. It looks oh suspiciously my God. like the Peak Design Everyday Sling. But you don't have to pay for all those needless bells and whistles, like years of research and development, mm. recycled blue sign approved materials, a lifetime warranty, fairly paid factory workers, and total carbon neutrality. Instead, you just get a bag. A bag. <laughs> the Amazon Basics Department. Oh, God. Okay, I'll get right on it, boss. <laughs> we'll start right there. That everyday sling. It's a hot zone. Let's basic this bad boy. <laughs> oh god. Let's do plastic. Durable zippers. Sounds crazy. Flexible dividers. Let's do the floppy ones. Done. Oh. What do we call it? I'm thinking. Oh my god. Slay. What was that there? <laughs> oh my god. This looks like a proper rubbish Amazon Basics listing. It's not doing well. It was on $32.99, now it's on $24, $21.47. There's six new and used already listed at even lower price. This product is not doing well for them. This is a disaster. And now this video. No one knows has taken it down. So if you're tired of supporting companies who innovate and just not willing to pay for responsibly made products, don't. Don't. The everyday sling by Peak Design. This is good. Amazon Basics. Whichever one you buy, you'll get exactly what you paid for. Exactly. I love those goofy eyeball things, whatever that guy's wearing. That's how it's done. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below and bravo to Peak Designs for, you know, calling out Amazon and, uh, you know, showing us other sellers how it's done. So Amazon has, you know, done this many times with different products. They are accused of doing this, uh, you know, using third party seller data. They're being investigated in US and EU for using third party seller data to create competing products. And it's an ongoing investigation. Uh, obviously, Amazon has an army of lawyers to defend itself and, you know, very deep pockets. So we don't know what's going to happen. They'll probably get a slap on the wrist, you know, whatever. But the point is, you know, that's why you build brand. That's why you, you know, make that extra effort of creating your own website, your, your YouTube channel, your email list, your Facebook groups. So, you know, people who really like your products, they can, you know, they are your customers and you, you, you provide good customer service, you create a good product. And that's why it's like a long term thing, because you are building something, isn't it? And you take pride in it and you would defend it. I assumed that Amazon would have taken the product down, but when I checked, like you can, can see over here, um, this product is still live on Amazon US and the amount of bad reviews and, you know, the bad Q&As that have been left on this product and calling it out as a blatant, uh, you know, copy of Peak Designs. It's, you know, obviously fans defending your product and it's ridiculous that they still haven't taken the product down. It says more on the way, like, what are you playing at? But the thing is, Amazon's defense to, you know, this kind of accusation is that other retailers, other major retailers do this all the time. This is an old practice of creating private label products uh, from for popular uh, types of product. And, you know, why Amazon is getting bad rep for doing this when all the other major retailers have always been doing this. Why do why can't Amazon do this? But the funny thing is nobody because we are talking about Internet and everything is, you know, measured and there's so much data, you know, th there is no way Amazon can just get away with just that weak defense. But that's what, you know, that's in the papers. and That's what I've read. So I don't know what's going to be the outcome of this investigation, but the point is, you know, this is how you defend your listing, your product, your brand, reputation, everything. This is how it's done. And, you know, I am. <laughs> this made my day. It was awesome. I hope it helps change your mindset about selling on Amazon. But obviously such well thought out products are not created on shoestring budgets. There are designers involved and, you know, 
uh, there's whole teams involved in developing that product, like they say, years of research. So this gives us hope. It's like the David versus Goliath story. It's, uh, you know, sometimes the small guy can have some wins and this is definitely a win for the small guy, for the small business. And, you know, bravo to Peak Designs again. Awesome video. I loved it. And yep, that's all for today. I will see you guys next week with a tutorial. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.